Hey guys, I'm Isaac Hall, and we are in Flathead National Forest. We're up at a parking lot way up in the mountains up here. It was, uh, it was like a six mile road, uh, and it's just all gravel, all dirt. It is very bumpy. I wasn't expecting any cars to be up here, but the parking lot's full. There's a lot of cars parked down the road even. Yeah, it's super busy here, but we're going to do an overnight uh, backpacking trip. Just a small one, like six miles each day. We're going to stay the night up next to a lake up in the mountains. It should be absolutely epic, but not a super long hike, but it's going to be awesome. This is my family's first time backpacking. How's it feel? A little heavy. A little heavy? <laughs> Tired already? We've gone 0.1 miles. The first two miles or so of this trail are about just like a steady, nice incline. Then after that it flattens out and actually goes downhill, but we're pretty high up in elevation right now. Beautiful scenery around us. We've definitely gained a lot of elevation, but where is it? Down there, you can, I guess you can't really see it on camera. You can see the cars down there. That's where we started, and I mean, we've gained a lot of elevation. We've only gone about a mile or so. Yeah, it doesn't feel like that much. So we just worked across and now we're on the opposite side of the mountain to where we started. Amazing views. So smoky from the forest fires. It's hard to see. But this is, I think it's like a 10 or 15 mile site as far as you can see with the smoke. Little campsite right here. The great view. It's only like a mile, 1.2 miles in or so, so it's not the most ideal place to stop. <laughs> All right, we are on Alpine Trail number seven. This is the trail that we take to Birch and Crater Lake. Birch Lake is the first lake that we're gonna come upon and Crater Lake is a few miles past that. That's where we're gonna be camping at. Beautiful lake right down there and there's a, sounds like a waterfall. You can see a stream, but super loud flowing water. Beautiful sight. You see the waterfall that's flowing in the lake right now. It is a, it's a good sized one. It's, it's that's it right there. And that flows down into that lake right there. Okay, so we're coming up to an intersection here. So Alpine Trail number seven is down this trail, Birch Lake Trail. So Birch Lake's right over this hill. We have made it to Birch Lake up here in these mountains. So beautiful. The bird dying over there, it sounds like. <laughs> so cool. It's 1.50, about lunchtime. We all got our chairs set up here. Chairs, a great idea, right everybody? Yeah. Chairs, yes. Finished with lunch and everything, and we've just been sitting here for about half an hour, enjoying the scenery. And uh, yeah, we're about to get packed up. There's a trail that heads on this side of the lake that these guys are on right here. But our trail goes along this side of the lake. And I think it's going to be cool because you'll get the mountain in the background of the lake. I think that'll look sweet. There's an orange tent right there. You can see people are camping too. This would be a great lake to camp at. It's just only a three mile hike. So I feel like we should probably do a little more than three miles today. And we are off on Alpine Trail number seven. Headed to Lake Crater now. That should be our next stop. Crater Lake, not Lake Crater, Crater Lake. <laughs> Actually giant. We didn't know it went around this bend. Man, it is so awesome. Get to the, through a pass and then get a whole new view over here. So I'm gonna guess that most people just make it to Birch Lake and then turn around because we're past Birch Lake now on our way to Crater and the trail is so much narrower, more overgrown as you can see up here. Still not too bad, hopefully it doesn't get worse. Oh, the trail intersection was Crater Notch Trail, which we're going to Crater Lake. Crater Notch would take us to the top of the mountain near Crater Lake, but that's not where we want to go. So we're taking the Alpine Trail number seven still, and that should take us down to the lake. So I believe we have started the descent down to Crater Lake. It's about 1.2 miles away, I believe. And uh, yeah, we're getting into some thick stuff. But yeah, it's all downhill from here. Awesome rock formation right here. It's just wow. I know. I just wonder how that even happens. It's just so flat and smooth. And then over to our left down here, you can see a small lake. 
appreciate it. It's a lake called Squaw Lake, S-Q-U-A-W. I believe that's what that is. Going down pretty far now, and we came over kind of through a ridge, and thank goodness, it's such a great view. So beautiful. And I believe Crater Lake is down at the bottom down here. I believe so. Not 100% sure, but it's the way it's looking. No idea what kind of bird this is. They say quail, but it's got babies. I'm very scared I'm about to get attacked. There's a baby right up there. The mom's right on this rock. We have made it to Crater Lake. It's right down there. But this trail was just nuts. Like, I've lost it at some points. It's so overgrown. Like right here. Where's it go? I think right here. Yeah, that's Crater Lake, though. So we made up with a different trail. We, this was the right trail. We definitely took the wrong, the old trail. Because the trail got changed right every while ago, and all trails never updated. But... Yeah, we definitely we're back on the good trail, so it's a little better now. We're getting close to the lake, and there's actually you guys probably can't see it on camera, but there's a tent and some people down there. But the lake's over here more, so I'm not sure what they're doing. There's just a tiny little pond right here. It's very unique. Super clear water too. And we're just walking along this. Oh, there's a campsite right there. There's a campsite right there. Oh, there's fish in there. Wow, it's so cool. We made it to the beautiful Crater Lake. You gotta, you gotta find a place to stay because around here is just rocks. There's a little site right over there that might be nice. Hike down the trail a little bit and try to find a nice campsite up on the water. If we don't find one, we're just gonna go back to the one right over there, which that looks like an awesome campsite too, but we're gonna just see what we can find up on the water. Everybody, after walking along the lake right there and finding nothing but rocks, <laughs> So this takes the, like the ground over there, it's just rocks. That's how it is pretty much the rest of the way. So right here, you can see the water that's flowing. So that's flowing straight out of the lake and filling up this pond. And there's also a creek over here that's flowing and that fills up this pond too. And we just found a campsite right in the middle of it. So we got water on pretty much every side of us. You know, it's a private island. <laughs> wee wee. <laughs> we have three uh, tents, so we got one right here. Right there and right there. We'll have plenty of room for three tents. It's gonna be perfect. This uh, little pond right here, there's a bunch of trout in it, which is uh, so cool. You know, oh, <laughs> one just jumped right there. Yeah, they're jumping at. There's a lot of water bugs uh, walking across the water, I'm guessing they're bar er, jumping at them. All right, guys, we are set up in that camp. I'll give you a little tour. Grace over here has made a homemade fishing pole with our trekking pole, some paracord, and a uh, safety pin. Yep, she's gonna, she's convinced she's gonna catch a trout, but she might, it's a good setup actually. Then over here, well actually I'll give you this, this is our fire pit. We got my chair set up, we're all getting our chairs set up. Actually right now, everybody is setting up their uh, sleeping pad and pillows and sleeping bag and stuff, I already got mine done. Over here is our tents, great setup here. Katie's having a hard time blowing hers up. Give you a little tour. So this first tent right here is me and Katie. As you can see, my stuff's already set up. Me and Katie will be in this one. And then Grace and Olivia, they're already set up in here. And that's theirs. And then mom and dad got the green one, fancy one. And we just kind of claim this whole place. Like everything's everywhere. We'll pick it up. And then this tree over here, that tree, uh, is we're going to hang our food because it's across the water so if bears do come they can get our food without getting near us. Over here blowing up her sleeping pad for like 10 minutes and tell them what the problem was Katie. I had the deflate open. She had the deflate valve wide open and she was just blowing into the inflate valve the whole time. This water is just crystal clear. So beautiful. You guys are about to jump in right here. Do it if you're bad. There's a nice place to come up right here. Do it if you're bad. Do it if you're bad. Do it oh, do it together? Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, Ooh, yeah, it's a little oh chilly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's cold. Yeah. Oh, oh, my brain is touching me. It feels like a snake. All right, I think that's enough. I don't want to die. Okay, that was pretty cool. Very easy, by the way. It looks like this is way further out. Oh my gosh, do this. Do this real quick. Oh. Just done. 
These, so these plants all around our uh, camp are huckleberry plants. And my mom's picking some. Go ahead and eat some. Make sure they're not poisonous. They taste good. Taste like huckleberry? Sure. Okay. This is just the coolest thing. There's This is our little pond or stagnant stream, whatever it is. And then over here is Crater Lake. And the way we have this pond is all the water is flowing right over this rock. This has got too high over here. Uh, it just flows down this rock and that's why we have a pond right here. There's nothing more relaxing than this. All right, so we're making dinner right now. I'm having a mountain house. Everybody else is having ramen noodle mashed potatoes. That's what's up. Except for Olivia and Katie are just having ramen, but yep, we're, they're all gonna try it. Look at that, look at that beauty. Katie, you're eating what? What are you eating? Raymond. Raymond, ramen, all right. Raymond. All right, you're eating ramen. How is it? It's good. It's Raymond. It is good? Mm -hmm. Mom, what are you eating? Ramen and mashed potatoes. Ramen noodle mashed potatoes. How is it? Super good. Super good. What? I'm starting mine right now because... <laughs> yeah, Dad made his I and... No, I started mine because I cooked for everybody else. So no. He had to restart because he, he dumped his all over. <laughs> Olivia, what are you eating? Ramen. Ramen. And how is it? Delicious, yep. Grace? Mashed potatoes. Just mashed potatoes or ramen's Just down ramen. here? Give them both a rate. Both good. Both good? Mm -hmm. Wait. That's it? Just what? good? What? You didn't make anyone else rate them. Alright. <laughs> um, I got mine. It's still really hot, so I'm letting it sit a little longer. I'll give you my rate and Dad's rate when we're eating. <laughs> oh, I also got this high sea stuff for my water. Yum. So my chicken and mashed potatoes is done. It's just chunks of chicken mixed in the mashed potatoes, and it is freaking delicious. I very much like this. Rate it. Rate it. I'm rating it. I'm rating this like solid for backpacking meals. I'm rating it a nine out of ten probably. It's good. Eat. All right, you're having your ramen noodle mashed potatoes. What's the What's the rate? It's good. Is it actually? Are you just saying that? Are you pitying me? No, it's good. Okay. Edible. I told you. Didn't I tell him, Grace? Climb this tall rock up here. It's pretty high off the lake, and uh, it's just an amazing view. Like <clears throat> you can see the mountain ranges, and then this awesome mountain right here, which I didn't even notice before. But that's a really cool mountain. And then just the lake, mountains in the background. Awesome mountains up here. And the cool thing about around here is, I think we're like so into the mountains that the fog hasn't got here all the way. It's like it's barely just foggy up there. Everywhere else, it's so clear. We got our food hung up in this big old tree. Got it tied off at the bottom. And the good thing is, it's across the water from our camp. So it's <laughs> out of the way. It took me like probably 20 tries to get the Caribbean over that branch. But we're secure now. That's what matters. So oh, we started a little campfire and are just relaxing around it. All full. Our bellies are full. The sun has already gone back behind the mountain. So we're just calming down. Anybody know what time it is? 8.25. It is 8.25, so I bet an hour or so we'll be in bed. All right, guys, it's 9 o'clock. We are, the girls are in the tent already, and we're all going to use the bathroom before we go to bed so we don't have to wake up in the middle of the night and use it. Put the fire out and put some more water just in case, and we are off to bed. So I'll make another video as soon as I wake up, and I'll see you all in the morning. So I just woke up, it's about 6.45 a.m. As you see the sun is shining on the mountains, absolutely incredible, but uh, I'm just going over to get the food bag so I can brush my teeth. And I noticed the trail that we take, there's elk footprint or mule deer. It's not whitetail, that's way too big to be whitetail. But yeah, elk or mule deer or something, some big, big game came walking through our trail last night. So that's pretty neat, I think. As long, I'm just glad it's not a bear. Oh my goodness. Got our food bags down so I can brush my teeth and then we're gonna make breakfast. Sun came up, just came up over the mountain, so it's getting brighter. And uh, got a nice fire going. Making some coffee, we're the only ones up right now. Everybody else is either asleep or just laying in the tent, not wanting to wake up. <laughs> so everybody is getting packed up now. 
I think Katie's like almost already done, but I had just now started because I was taking care of my blisters and Grace's blisters and that stuff. But yep, getting everything packed up. And we're going to head back onto the trail a little bit, probably stop at Birch Lake again, and then we'll be back at the car. Not a race or anything, but if it was, me and Katie definitely just won. All packed up, tents all gone. That's what's up. <laughs> Alright, we've got our entire camp packed up. It's all on our backs again. Leave no trace. Leave no trace. And we're about to hang out, or head out. Yep. I'm going to take a quick picture, and then we're, we're up out on the trail. Last view of Crater Lake, saying goodbye. Sad, it's such a beautiful lake. Man, I think Flathead National Forest is probably just as beautiful as Glacier National Park. And way less people too, holy cow. Come along the trail and there is fresh, fresh bear poop. So, we got our bear sprays ready and we are on high alert. About probably half a mile after seeing the bear poop, and uh, yeah, some more. And it's oh, that is some fresh stuff. Yep. So he was he's definitely walking down the trail. So we all got our bear spray out, <laughs> making a lot of noise, so we don't become victims. Found some elk tracks right here. I can't can't believe how much how big these tracks are. That's so cool. Giant. We've made it to Birch Lake. That water is just so crystal clear. It's a mirror. Wow. So we stopped back at Birch Lake where we stopped yeah, yesterday. Eating some food. Lost one of my trekking poles on the way here. That's, that sucks, but we didn't get eaten by a bear. So that's cool. Back on the trail with my one stick. Are officially off Alpine Trail number seven. We're going to the Camp Misery Trailhead. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back at the parking lot. So our 12-mile hike to uh, Crater Lake is officially over. It was a blast, and uh, just appreciate I appreciate every one of you guys that watches these videos. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.